I have a tutorial for you using, well, featuring a Glamour Doll Eyes eyeshadow. I will leave a link to Glamour Doll Eyes in the info box. Um, I've been using their cosmetics for about the last four years now. Um, this is from the Circus Collection that they have and it was created by Natasha from My Eyeshadow Is Odd and I will leave her link in the info box as well because she's awesome and you need to go check out her videos. But she's very, um, she's, I'm gonna use the word obsessed because she is. She's just obsessed with um, kind of circus theme things and freak shows and that kind of thing and um, she's one of the Glamour Doll Eyes Glamour Girls, I think that's what they call them. They're like girls who are sponsored by Glamour Doll Eyes and they let her create her own collection of eyeshadows. If you are interested in a review of those eyeshadows, I will do, I'll do one for you because I've had those eyeshadows for a while. Um, I don't think it's a particularly limited edition collection, I think it's still on the website. It's been up there for at least a year already, so if you do want a review on that, let me know in the comments and I'll get on that for you. But um, this particular shade is Bearded Lady. Um, and it's just this really pretty, 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 god can I say pretty anymore, um, it's like a very purple based taupe, um, I don't know if you're gonna really be able to appreciate it in this swatch, but I will, on the blog post for this tutorial, I will post a few swatches of the colours so you can get a better idea. But anyways, I just kind of went with a classic smoky eye look. Um, I thought it would be the best thing to do with this um, eyeshadow and, and just use it as the feature lid colour. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. It's not too over dramatic. It's wearable and I think it would suit quite a lot of eye colours. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so I've already got my eyebrows on and I've already primed my lid. I'm going to go in with my brow bone highlight. This is Ivory Coast from Seventeen. I'm just taking this on a big base shadow brush. Next, I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush with Naked from Urban Decay. Um, it's my favourite brush to use the shadow. It's just going to go into my socket and transitional area. Next I'm going to take a pencil brush and the chocolate chic eyeshadow from Maybelline and this is going to go into my crease. I'm taking a cream eyeshadow from Bourjois and this is in Rose Patel, it's just a really kind of cool toned pink colour. I'm just taking this on a Barry M eyeshadow brush and putting this on the lids. Next I'm taking this small shadow brush and I'm taking a um, Glamour Doll Eyes eyeshadow. And this is called Bearded Lady. And it's just this beautiful kind of warm taupe shade.
and I'm just gonna pack this onto my lid. Going back in with that crease shade a little bit. And I'm just taking a baby wipe to wipe away the excess. I'm gonna do my face makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my um, face makeup on. I used Bourjois Matte Serum as primer. I used um, Superstay 24 Hour Foundation from Maybelline Foundation. For concealer, I used a mixture of the Lasting Perfection and the Match Perfection. Um, I set a little bit around my cheek with the um, Stay Matte Powder. For bronzer I used my little thin bronze. I contoured a little bit with Nars Laguna. Blush is Elf's Candid Coral. And my highlight of course is the Prestige Powder because I'm just so desperate 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 to use this guy up. Okay so now I'm going to finish off my eye makeup. Um, I'm going to take that uh, pencil brush and I'm going to take the chocolate chic eyeshadow and I'm just going to run this in the outer corner there and just blend it forward a little bit. Now I'm going to pop in my inner corner highlight, the um, L'Oreal Color Infallible in Time Resist White. I absolutely, absolutely love this stuff. Okay, and then to connect that to the chocolate chic, I'm going to take some more of Bearded Lady. Just a little bit and blend those two shadows together. Now I'm going to take my Rimmel's Cork Gel pencil. Just going to run this in the waterline and tight line. Line with my with that. I'm gonna line with a gel liner on the upper lash line. Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly do my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got um, a bit of mascara on the tip of my nose. Um, I'm gonna let it dry for a couple of minutes before I move out there. I think I'm gonna get a black streak all down my nose. So let's try and ignore it for the time being. And I'm going to move on into my lips and I'm gonna use this little combo here. This is the e.l.f. matte lip color in natural. And I'm just gonna fill my lips in with this. And I'm going to go over it with NYX Sweetheart Lip Gloss. 
this. I'm gonna put it in the middle. I think these are like the perfect combination for a neat lip. Okay, so here's my finished look. Um, zoom you guys in so you can see it a bit better. I know my camera gets a little fuzzy the closer I go, so I do apologize. I will include pictures so you can get a better feel for the look. Um, I just wanted to do something kind of classically smoky because it's my jam. Uh, pretend I did not say that. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to do something with the shadow. I've wanted to do something with the shadow for such a long time and um, I couldn't think of what to do today for a tutorial so I decided to do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Alright.